The number one most important thing, of course, in Enlisted is the grind. How can we level up faster, get more XP, and get that nice, sweet, shiny toy that much faster? That's what we're going to be talking about today, guys. I'm going to be giving you my five best tips for leveling up faster in Enlisted. Before we begin, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more enlisted guides, tips, tricks, gameplay, and news, yada, yada, yada. I appreciate it. It helps me out as always. And let's jump into the video. I hope you enjoy. The best way to earn more XP in enlisted is pretty simple, guys, at least in theory. It's winning more games. Anytime you win a match of enlisted, the amount of XP that you earned in that match is immediately increased by a flat 50% which is the best multiplier possible outside of buying premium. So when you're playing the game, make sure you're always congregating around the objective. You always want to be defending the objective, pushing the objective. When the enemies are attacking and trying to capture it or defending it hard, make sure you yourself are pushing it or defending it to the best of your abilities. Always support your team. The amount of XP that you get from sitting in the back of the map and shelling uh, random enemies with your HE is going to get absolutely dwarfed by the amount of XP that you're going to earn by playing the objective and winning more matches. Also, consider joining our community Discord. That way you can queue up with other experienced and strong players to win more matches. A good squad and enlisted will be able to absolutely run over any you know, smaller groups or any uh, solo players or anything like that. So always try to group up with other experienced and good players. You'll see that your grind will massively, massively decrease by doing so. Our next tip is our first gameplay tip for grinding faster and enlisted, and it's to utilize rally points and APCs. APCs can be unlocked in the main tech tree for each faction, and rally points can be built by any engineer in any of your squads. Both of these tools allow you and your team to spawn closer to an objective, which not only gives you a passive trickle of XP that adds up over time, but it also allows you to more efficiently attack or defend an objective, allowing you to win more games. On top of that, it gets you back into the fight that much quicker, meaning less time walking back to the front line and more time shooting enemies and earning sweet, sweet XP. If all that wasn't enough to convince you, enough Engineer Points may even earn you the Engineer Battle Award, which gives you a small 10% boost to XP earned at the end of the match. It is incredibly important to always be updating your Rally Points anytime an objective is taken, and spawn those APCs whenever they're outdated as well. It will massively increase the amount of XP that you guys will be earning per match. Speaking of Battle Hero Awards, they're another great source of XP at the end of every match of Enlisted. If you didn't know, Battle Hero Awards are given out for a variety of accomplishments in-game, ranging from the best soldier type, like the best assaulter, to the most vehicle kills for any one player. Each Battle Hero Award you earn gives you a 10% boost to your overall XP for that match, up to 5 awards giving a whopping 50% XP boost. That means that if you win a match while also getting at least 5 of these awards, you'll effectively double the XP that you earned for that match. Try to find the awards that fit with your playstyle and work towards earning them in a match. If you really enjoy sniping, then try to go for the best sniper and the most long range kill awards. The more rare awards like Melee or Grenade Master are easy and effective ways to get consistent bumps in XP since they're typically more difficult to do and you won't be competing with many other players in the match. Another major source of XP in Enlisted is Vehicles. Vehicles are essentially giant XP pinatas, and destroying them not only earns you a giant bucket of XP for the vehicle kill itself, but it also earns you XP for every crew member that you killed inside the vehicle. Now to give you guys some reference, a standard infantry kill for a soldier is worth 30 score, while a tank kill is worth 5 times that, 150 as well as giving you XP for all of the crew members that you killed inside, meaning that it could be worth up to 10 times as much as a single infantry kill for really the same amount of work, more or less, maybe a little bit more. Planes are worth even more XP, sitting at 350 score for shooting just a single plane down, as well as any crew members inside. You should always try to have anti-tank options available to you, be they anti-tank soldiers with bazookas, panzerfaust, or explosive packs, and you should always try to consider bringing a fighter to clear the skies out if the enemy is constantly spawning planes. 
Bombing runs called in by radio operators are also worth a huge amount of easy XP because they spawn 5 planes and each gives a score of 265 per plane shot down. So always be on the lookout for enemy planes that are called in by radio operators. You should also always be looking and listening for tank cannons and muzzle flash to find enemy tanks and destroy them to not only give yourself that nice big dish of XP but also help your team out as well. Our final tip guys try to level up your squads as much as possible a maxed out squad is going to have much much better time on the battlefield and will keep you going for much longer a four-man squad can get wiped out by a single tank shell while a seven-man squad might survive with one or two members and while those one or two members uh, might not do as much as a larger squad you'll still stay in the fight and maybe you'll be able to take out an enemy vehicle or something like that earning you a nice amount of xp the point here guys is that the bigger your squad is the longer you can stay in the fight and thus stay earning XP without having to go back to the respawn screen. So always make sure you're leveling those up as well as of course putting engineers and anti-tank soldiers in there to help with the previous tips in this video such as building rally points, anti-tank guns, machine guns, so on and so forth or using your anti-tank soldiers to destroy enemy vehicles earning you that nice boost to XP or a battle hero award. Always make sure you guys are upgrading your squads and utilizing those better soldiers with good perks, so on and so forth, to always make sure you have the best equipment, best gear, and best soldiers available to earn the most amount of XP possible. And that's it everybody thank you so much for watching as always those are my tips for grinding just a little bit faster or hopefully a lot faster in enlisted hopefully you guys are able to get that next shiny sweet unlock uh now that you have these tips and you'll be flying through the tech tree if this video did help you remember to like and subscribe for more videos and leave a comment down below your guys's experiences and your best tips for leveling up in enlisted let's get some uh, interaction going on down there share some tips for how you guys are succeeding and doing well in enlisted uh, and how you guys are leveling up most effectively thanks again for watching guys and i'll see you next time take it easy